Hello and welcome to the NRC Round 2 Predictions brought to you by Driving Mall. Hi, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall. And don't forget that there is lots and lots of rugby on at the moment. Not only do we have the NRC, we have the Meister 10 Cup, the Curry Cup, the Rugby Championship, the Viva Premiership, the Top 14, the Pro 14 as well. So, so you don't miss out on any of those predictions or any of my videos about them, do sign up for my video. A link, uh, sign up for my video? No, sign up for my newsletter. <laughs> link above on Twitter, down below on YouTube. And then you'll get an email once a week into your inbox um, with all links to all of my videos. Uh, and articles and podcasts and all of that good stuff. So don't miss out on any of that stuff, please. Anyway, cracking on the NRC round two. So what have we got? Um, first up, we have Queensland Country playing, hosting uh, Brisbane City. Melbourne Rising then host Fiji. Uh, the Canberra Vikings host Perth Spirits. And we finish off with the Sydney Derby, Sydney Rays against Sydney Rams. So that's how it's all panning out this weekend. Kicking off um, with that um, Queensland country versus Brisbane City. Now Queensland picked up a loss um, in their opening game um, whereas Brisbane got the win over um, uh, Fiji with that unfortunate incident around the biting but we'll get into that later. With that in mind um, Brisbane City are the two-time champions of this. Sure last season wasn't so great for them but I think um, with that in mind, having got that early win, even though they are on the road, I'm going to back Brisbane City by five. Next, Melbourne Rising against the Fiji Jura. Um, sorry, Jura. Uh, the Melbourne obviously got that loss against the Perth on the road. Now, Perth Spirit are the champions, so there's no um, shame in that at all. Uh, then, whereas Fiji had that opening game against uh, Brisbane, obviously, uh, and, and lost. What came out of that was a sighting from their players for biting, um, and he's been given a 20-week ban. So he ain't coming back during this season. Um, you've got to see how that impacts the squad. Does it bring them together? Um, and sort of us against them, us against the world, they're all out to get us, banning our player for that long. Um, or is that going to have disunity and, the, and, and, and spread amongst the squad? We'll have to wait and see. Either way, um, I think they're still going to be finding their feet in this competition. Um, and I'm going to back Melbourne by five to win that one. Let's hope there's no uh, bad instance during this game and that it is just rugby and they let rugby do the talking. Next should be a cracker um, down in Canberra um, with the Vikings taking on Perth Spirit. As I say, the champions both got wins in their opening rounds. Now, how much uh, emotional energy did Perth burn in that opening um, game against Melbourne obviously the two teams with Super Rugby history or Super Rugby issues going on at the moment um, and so how's that going to carry through into this one Let's. Um, last season Perth only lost um, I think it was one game all season so with that in mind they're the champions um, they have, they're on a crusade to prove that Perth is somewhere that should have rugby and should keep it Super Rugby uh, and so I think we are going to see them um, on the road with a mission to prove but I think it should be a tight one and I'm backing Perth just by three. To finish things off, we have the Sydney Derby. Now, the Rays had a bye week last week um, when the Rams picked up a bit of a surprise win um, over um, the uh, over Queensland country. Uh, sorry, not Queensland country, um, New South Wales country uh, by 21 points. It was a big win um, there at home. Now they're away. Um, now, the Rays have traditionally been a bit better than them. Um, so, it's hard to call having not seen the Rays yet this season, but I'm going to go home advantage there to the other Rays by three. So yes, um, it's early season, so it can be a bit hard to call some of these, which is probably why I'm going with some of the smaller margins. Uh, so there were some bigger margins last weekend, uh, and my margins, I think, will grow during the season. But there you go. That's why I see it happening. Don't forget, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, always up for good rugby chat, so do let me know how you see the NRC going this weekend. And as I say, please do sign up for my newsletter. Also, share this with your friends. Get the old thumbs up on YouTube and all that kind of lovely stuff.